hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel code logic so in the tutorial we are going to see how we can develop the faculty management system so we have started this playlist in which we have developed some more functionalities like the uh, admin dashboard admin login and uh, in previous videos we have seen how to add new faculty how to get all the faculties in our front end so in this video we are going to see how we can uh, show the details of faculty to user so uh, if you are new here then please subscribe to our youtube channel and share the videos with your friends and uh, if you want any kind of projects college projects or any semester projects then you can contact us on our instagram id the link for that is in the description box below so without wasting any time let's get started So uh, this is our, our Angular project in which uh, we have developed this uh, show all list of all faculties we have shown here. Now we are going to click on that view button and uh, we need to show the details to the user. So to do that we need to uh, write a function click on click method. We are going to call method one fa get faculty and we'll pass the faculty object there. Now uh, we'll open the faculty.ts file and here we'll in the end we'll define one method get faculty which will have a parameter faculty which is of type faculty model okay now here uh, we'll, we are going to assign the values to form group faculty details form so to do that we'll use fb dot group so fb uh, we have defined it uh, in our constructor uh, if you can see here inside a constructor form builder so fb stands for form builder and uh, to use that we need to use this okay this keyword we have used here now we need to assign the values uh, from that object parameter faculty to our uh, form faculty details form and to do that we'll copy this and we'll paste it here okay and now uh, we'll just change its values so faculty number faculty dot faculty number oops it's faculty number faculty it should be a number okay similarly faculty dot email faculty dot mobile department faculty dot word date we have also uh, taken a parameter joining here then the other card number of faculty and the last one will be the password though we are not showing the password in our view we are just taking it so here we'll go to our bootstrap and we'll search for model we'll copy that code and uh, we'll paste it in our VS code view faculty we'll comment it out and then we'll paste our code okay so here uh, first we'll need to change its uh, ID of that model uh, by default it's example model we need to change it to the view model okay and uh, we'll copy that and we'll paste it to the database target attribute okay and we are going to need these two attributes data toggle and data target 
we'll cut those and we'll add those attributes to our view button okay now uh, we are going to remove this button from here we'll change its title to faculty details here uh, we'll use table we uh, remove that save button okay we'll use table here to show the data so class table and table hour okay now uh, here we'll use t body inside which we are going to create rows by using tr and then th and td so uh, in td we are going to store the values and in th uh, we are going to assign scope to row and uh, we are going to show the title like uh, faculty name number okay and here we have assigned the value in uh, faculty forms data faculty details form so to get that data faculty details form dot get faculty name sorry faculty number dot value okay we'll check that to check that we need to go to our dashboard okay when we click on view it is showing the faculty number and its corresponding value okay but it is a uh, uh, too bold we need to change that uh, we change ts to td okay and uh, the faculty num faculty number we paste it in our b tag that is bold okay now we'll copy paste the code a few more times and then uh, we'll update the values faculty name then uh, we'll change it to the mobile number mobile email other card department joining year Bird date the last one is other card number okay and uh, we'll remove this close button and we'll paste it inside uh, about div and we'll remove the footer model footer now uh, here to title we are going to assign text center and the text success that means color of that text will be the green and for button we are going to change its color we are going to assign outline success now you can see if you click on view then uh, its color is changed for button also and for the faculty details also okay so that's it for the video guys if you have any doubts or suggestions you can contact us on our instagram id code logic
Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then.